Hi, my name's Miles Jacobson and I'm Studio Director at Sports Interactive, the development studio responsible for the whole Football Manager series of games and now working with SPK, Football Manager Online as well. FM and FMO are very different games. In Football Manager, you play the role of a manager at a specific club, one of 5,000 clubs around the world that you can manage and try and take that team to global glory. In FMO, we've rewritten the football rule books and rather than you going in and managing a particular club, you actually set up your own club. Um, the squad in that club will be made up from our huge database of 30,000 plus players and every team inside the game um, will have some level of difference to them. There's hundreds of different templates of the types of players that you can get. Um, also inside Football Manager Online, you're in complete control of training. You get development points um, which you can spend on players to make sure that they train in exactly the attributes that you want them to, rather than that being artificially intelligence controlled. Um, obviously the transfer system is very different and we've got more of a, a card-based system, so rather than going and finding a specific player, you can send your scout out and he might find a player that you like that you can then shortlist and try and buy within the next couple of days. Or there are also player packs that you can earn inside the game. And those packs give you specific players that again, you can try and sign or you can, um, or you can release. So, you know, it's very much designed, FMO is very much designed to be an MMO with, um, with a little bit less real world than, uh, than Football Manager has, because that just wouldn't work. Um, as, a, as an MMO because everyone would want to be the same half a dozen teams from around the world. So we can't have everyone being exactly the same team. So that's why we've decided to take this route. I think the thing that we have um, over other football management games is, is 20 years experience of making them. And we've been building the game for a long time. So we think that our match engine is the most accurate simulation of football out there, not just in games, but out there in the world and our, our database. Again, um, the fact that real life football clubs use our database to help them find players um, shows that we must be doing something right there. Um, but I haven't played any of the other games that are coming out. I'm sure some of them might be good, but the idea with Football Manager Online is for it to be great, not good. We have a system like that in place in the game. So if you're not online playing the game, your assistant manager will pick your team and we'll do substitutions for you and if players are sent off we'll move players into, uh, into different positions to, to try and help with that. So the assistant manager system that's used in the game is very similar to the one in, in Football Manager um, that the computer controlled teams in Football Manager use. So it uses lots of artificial intelligence to, to, help, um, to help the user um, in, uh, in making sure that our rankings don't drop too much. Of course anyone who's very good at the game is always going to do better than a computer controlled manager. So we do encourage people to play the game as much as possible and it's why we have the, the regular league season that we have where you can specify the times that you're most likely to be online and then have four matches per day being played during that period. So we're still working on the trading system at the moment and I don't want to give too much away of that. It's not a feature that will be in place for OBT, um, but at some point during, uh, during the commercial service we will bring that into play and certainly the priority of that has probably changed. Um, we didn't believe it was as important as the people talking on the, uh, in the chat room inside the game believe at the moment. So certain features that were planned, longer, uh, planned shorter term will probably switch around to try and bring a trading system in quicker. Um, in the long term, that is the plan. Um, what we would like to do, and we don't know yet whether this is technically possible, is have the whole game available to play on mobile um, as well on PC. In the short term, people who have the Football Manager Online app will be able to get notifications of things that are happening inside the game. And then probably, we're probably looking at six to nine months later we'll provide a mobile client where you'll be able to set tactics um, from there but eventually we would like for people to be able to play the whole game on mobile particularly with the 5g network that's coming in korea although that's probably a little bit 
further away than, than we would like initially, so it will probably be wireless to start off with, Wi-Fi to start off with. We've got big plans for OBT. Um, there are a couple of very big features that we're looking at, which will probably only have one of these ready for OBT, and we're not sure which one yet, um, but we're looking at cups, and we're looking at infrastructure as well, being able to build your stadium. Um, but it's likely that one of those will be OBT and one of those will be ready for commercial launch. Um, but yes, we have very big plans for the future and a long roadmap of features that we want to add for the game in the same way as we do for the packaged game with our annual releases. Well, firstly, thank you to everyone who has logged on so far and helped with CBT. We know that it hasn't been as stable in the first couple of days that we would have liked, but we think we've sorted those problems out now. Um, so certainly people are generating pretty long play times um, inside the game, which is, which is very good for us because it helps us with our testing. So thank you all of you who have logged in. And to those people who haven't played it yet, we really hope that, uh, that you enjoy OBT um, and commercial service when, when those come later in the year.